I'd like to first to welcome here uh, Mr. James Parwanyan, who is the uh, director of the Office for Foreign Missions of the U.S. State Department. Uh, where is Mr. Parwanyan? Oh, here. Thank you, Mr. Parwanyan, for being here. Um, Office of Foreign Missions is the main uh, body organization representing the State Department here in Los Angeles, and we've had a traditionally, historically, very good relationship with the OFM. And I'm so glad that under your leadership, this relationship has grown and it's strengthened. Unfortunately, Mr. Parawanyan is leaving us uh, in a couple of months, and we wish him all the success and all the best in his future endeavors. Thanks for your attention. Thank you. I'd like to mention, uh, welcome also here uh, the, our colleagues from the Diplomatic Security Service uh, of the State Department, also from Los Angeles Police Department, who have always been very kind to us, very helpful to us in providing good security to us and to our colleagues here. Thank you very much for being here. And also, also Dr. Arya Warshel, um, the Nobel Prize winner. Uh, in chemistry from 2013 is also with us here. Dr. Rochelle? Oh, here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rochelle, for being here with us. And also, many consuls general uh, um, and honorary consul are here, and I, uh, I, I appreciate your attendance and your presence here. Thank you very much. Um, May 28th has an enormous significance for Azerbaijan because, namely, on this very day, in 1918, 99 years ago, the Democratic Republic of Azerbaijan, the first parliamentary democracy, secular republic in the Muslim world was established. And this republic played a crucial role in the restoration of national statehood traditions of the people of Azerbaijan. Despite its short existence, just two years, the republic achieved numerous accomplishments. The, one of the largest accomplishments they achieved was granting the voting right to women in 1919. Uh, actually, uh, a year, an entire year before the United States. So, we're very, very proud of this achievement. So, uh, but also it founded the Baku, a secular university, uh, and also Apart from women rights, women, uh, the voting rights, the women emancipation uh, was very uh, actively carried out and moved forward. But the, um, even the, this independence uh, was recognized by many democratic nations of the time, including by the United States. Woodrow Wilson, president of the United States back then, met a delegation of this republic, our first republic in Paris, on the sidelines of the Paris Peace Conference in 1990, exactly on May 28, 1990, a year after the republic was established. So actually, when he came back, he came to San Francisco and uh, gave a, a talk there uh, at the Commonwealth Club there. So he said, out of all nations and delegations he met, he only mentioned the delegation from Azerbaijan. He said exactly these words in his speech. One day, they came in a very dignified and interesting group of gentlemen from Azerbaijan. And actually said, do you know where Azerbaijan is? The answer in 1990 was obviously no. So, uh, so, so, I was talking to men, he said, who talked the same language that I did in respect of ideals, in respect of conceptions of liberty, right, and justice. So these were the words of Woodrow Wilson. Regrettably, Azerbaijan's newfound independence was uh, cut short in 1920 when Bolsheviks invaded Azerbaijan and Azerbaijan later was incorporated into the Soviet Union for the following 71 years. Uh, but at the same time, after 71 years, the freedom aspirations of the people of Azerbaijan were uh, uh, prevailed and Azerbaijan restored its independence in 1991. Now when we look back to the 26 uh, years of independence, we can probably say that Azerbaijan has undergone a dramatic transformation from a war-torn country with almost collapsed economy and political instability to become one of the fastest developing countries of the region and beyond. Goal-oriented political 
and economic policies of the government under their leadership of President Ilham Aliyev have turned Azerbaijan into a key actor in the wider Caspian region. A mega hub of trade, transportation, communications, and education. Also, Azerbaijan is proud to be called an exemplary model of multiculturalism and interfaith tolerance and uh, harmony, creating an inclusive environment where Muslims, Christians, and Jews continue to live side by side, peacefully, in peace and dignity. I think it's a very important uh, achievement that should be hailed. Thank you. And this year marks a, a very important anniversary, namely 25th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Azerbaijan and the United States. Over the last 25 years, together we have been able to build a strong strategic partnership and friendship between our both countries. Azerbaijan is a crucial and reliable partner of the United States in a very important part of the world. And we have fought together against and continue to fight together against international terrorism and extremism. Uh, within 24 hours after the 9-11 attacks, Azerbaijan offered its unconditional assistance to the United States, opening its airspace and sending troops to Afghanistan and uh, in making sure that this um, terrorism in Afghanistan could be defeated. Now our, our task is to strengthen this partnership and friendship even further and deepen the bonds between Azerbaijan and, uh, and the United States. Um, in general, uh, everything we did here on the West Coast, dear friends, all the work and uh, all the events we organize and we hold would have been impossible without the small but strong, hardworking, dedicated, and most importantly, patriotic team we have here at the Council. Oh. I would like to thank each one of our consular team members for their tireless efforts. This summer we are bidding farewell to three of them. Wow. So I would like now to invite these three guys from our team to the stage. Nahid Omarov, our consular affairs officer. Rafik Rustamo, our deputy consul general. Where is Rafik? has disappeared, <laughs> probably, yeah. and Samir Agayev, our financial attaché. Try to find Raf Rafiq and send him here, please. <laughs> so we uh, have, uh, as I said, a very small team here, like uh, uh, five or six people. Um, the uh, amount of territory we covered, like 13 states, California, plus 12 other western states. So, just in California you could fit five Azerbaijan. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, that's why it's a large territory, of course, a lot to cover, but at the same time, a huge responsibility on our shoulders, and I'm, I'm glad to have a, a team here that is, as I said, hardworking, dedicated, and, and also shows a lot of determination to make sure that Azerbaijan's interests here are, are protected and Azerbaijan's uh, pu uh, public awareness about Azerbaijan is raised. So it's an important uh, region for Azerbaijan. Uh, this is the only consulate actually we have uh, in the United States. So we have an embassy in Washington DC and just a consulate here in Los Angeles. So last but not least, Rafik Ustam, our consul and deputy consul. So I have a little farewell presence for our team members and I would like now to present them.
Thank you. Thank you, guys. I wish you all the best in your future personal and professional life.